Let us remember we're in the holy presence of God. Good morning, LaSalle. This morning, members of our faculty and staff have prepared reflections for you based on Christian brothers who have been important in their lives as their colleagues or as their teachers. As you hear about these brothers, we invite you to enter more deeply in the tradition that makes LaSalle College High School the wonderful school that it is. Let us remember Brother Tim Ahern. Brother Tim was a personal friend uh, and just a terrific teacher here. I believe about 15 years he was at LaSalle. Uh, the kids absolutely adored him. Uh, he was a terrific teacher, a great mentor, a good friend to the faculty, um, and just a good, good man. The principles of St. John Baptist de La Salle were what he followed and lived every day. Just a great example of a true Christian brother. Uh, his kindness, his zeal and energy in the classroom, uh, his passion for coaching, all of the things that he represented to our students made him so special and missed, but other schools have benefited from the goodness of Brother Tim since he has left LaSalle, but he left a legacy here, not only with the students, but with the faculty, and I'm grateful to call him a friend. Let us remember Brother John Delfonso. When I think about Brother John, uh, he was such a pivotal part of enabling myself and, and my twin brother to be able to attend uh, LaSalle College High School. I, I, when I think of Brother John D'Alfonso and the way in which he interacted with students and, and faculty during my time here as a student at LaSalle, I think of uh, compassion. Um, he was such an approachable individual with a genuine smile, really authentic, uh, caring about everyone that he interacted with for myself and my family personally. You know, my parents were going through a pretty difficult divorce during my time here as a student, and Brother John was such an important part of working with my mother, especially in terms of understanding the context of our uh, home life, that, that he was just such an important part of the arranging for financial aid and uh, understanding kind of the situation that we were coming from on a daily basis. Brother John also... Uh, was the moderator of the football team when I was a member of the student body and uh, I just remember how gentle and, and again how approachable he was and such a pleasure to interact with on a on a daily basis and when I think of brother John in my head I, I just think of uh, someone that had such a comforting and genuine smile just one of those people that was always easy to talk to and always approachable on a daily basis. Let us remember Brother Dave Deridorian. Brother Dave, or Bro Dave as he was called by his students, and I were colleagues um, at LaSalle College High School in the World Language Department. He taught Spanish, and I also taught Spanish. Um, and one thing that I liked about Brother Dave is he was a really good friend. Um, sometimes I would come back to the office after class and I'd feel a little frustrated or have a little bit of doubt about what I was doing. Um, and Brother Dave always helped put things in perspective for me. Um, and he was always there to share a laugh or um, help me focus on what was important. Um, I always used to see Brother Dave in the hallway laughing with students and I think they, they knew that he had a good sense of humor um, and they could tell that he was a really sincere and a genuine person. High school students tend to have a really good, um, I guess you could say a good BS detector. Um, and they know when the teacher is being real and when they're being fake and they always knew that Brother Dave was being real. Um, and I think they admired that about him. Um, and they, and it inspired them as well. He always used to tell his students that you cannot practice your faith at an arm's length. You have to be face to face with whatever it is um, that you're interacting with. And I think for a lot of students, the idea of faith and religion is something that seems kind of removed from their daily lives. I think Brother Dave showed them that it's something that you encounter every day with everyone that you meet, and it's something that he made real for them. Um, I think that makes sense because Brother Dave is one of the most real people that I know. Um, and we definitely miss him a lot here at LaSalle College High School. Let us remember Brother Tom McPhillips. Brother was a um, consummate teacher, uh, loved teaching, loved uh, Wagner, loved LaSalle's music program, and he made a big difference in what we are today at LaSalle High School because in those eight years he was able to set it on a footing 
that was not really my expertise. He took care of everything that was necessary except the teaching of music. And in order to build a program this big, there are a lot of things that are necessary. Um, <clears throat> he died suddenly. Uh, and he will always be missed by me, my family, and LaSalle's musical family. Let us remember Brother Linus Finn. Brother Linus taught me typing here at LaSalle in the late 80s. As with many of my classmates that came before and after me, he referred to me only by the number of the typewriter that I sat behind in his classroom. Uh, some of the most vivid memories that I have of Brother Linus in my typing class uh, were his daily thought of the day uh, that he would write on the blackboard, uh, the suggestion box that hung just high enough in his classroom that even the tallest of us couldn't reach in to make a suggestion, uh, and his repeated teachings of accuracy, accuracy as we were typing sentences with every letter in the English language. Uh, but perhaps my uh, favorite memory of brother came every year on my birthday uh, when my phone would ring in my house and he'd be on the other end asking for number 14 boy and wishing me a happy birthday. Uh, it was a nice tradition that I assumed would end uh, when I graduated from LaSalle. So I was uh, pleasantly surprised my freshman year in college when the phone rang in my dorm room and brother Linus was on the other end asking for number 14 boy and wishing me a happy birthday. I started to think about that and Brother taught here for over a decade, probably had approximately 3,000 students uh, in his classes in his time here at LaSalle. You know, and then take that extra time to try and locate all of them on their birthday and make those phone calls, uh, to me, comes to embody what LaSalle stands for, what the Christian Brothers stand for, and it's certainly what I think most of us remember about Brother Linus Finn. Let us remember Brother Joe Myers. So it's 1982. I'm a freshman at Pittsburgh Central Catholic, and I have religion class with Brother Joe Myers. Brother Joe Myers was this peaceful, caring, had this legendary strength that people always talked about. But we would have these days where he would give us worksheets, and when we had these worksheets, he would bring his record player in and would play albums by Pink Floyd and Rush. And just imagine the first notes of the wall and he's drawn bricks on a blackboard. And many people would think that that was just kind of a blow off day. And yet you really kind of saw something about him. He was being really honest and genuine with us and with himself. And that continued into things like every single day he was outside the main office at Central, just saying goodbye to people. Hey Mark, how you doing? Have a good day. And he always had just kind of this air about him that always made you feel comfortable. He made me feel comfortable. So in 1997, I begin at LaSalle College High School, and I turn around and see Brother Joe Myers. At the time he was teaching mechanical drawing, and Brother Joe didn't change at all. He was still that same peaceful, caring guy that stood in front of the, the main office and said goodbye to everybody and kind of pointed at them and said their names. And he would still do that with me. I was really lucky that during that time that I was able to tell him what an impact he made in my life. Uh, I've learned how to care about my students. I've learned how to be genuine with them, to share myself with them and to be open and caring towards them through Brother Joe. He's made a huge impact on, on my life uh, and on the lives of so many LaSallean students, whether at Pittsburgh Central or here at LaSalle. And everything I've learned about what it means to be a LaSallean comes from him. Let us remember Brother James Rick, also known as Brother Kodak, for the thousands upon thousands of photos that he took during his years here at LaSalle. Uh, during his years here at LaSalle, brother had the position of assistant principal, uh, admissions director, and probably primarily the admissions director in the last part of his career. But the one thing that stood out about brother was his care and compassion for everybody in the community. No one, whether it be a student or a faculty member, would ever be hospitalized. Uh, without a visit from Brother James Rick, were constant visits from Brother James Rick. Not only did he uh, go to the hospital to support the individuals, but was also there for their families and anybody else 
who may have been touched by that individual that was in the hospital. Let us remember Brother David Rogers, or Brother Daniel David, as he was known in those days. He was my sophomore year English teacher at LaSalle, and he was kind, firm, and demanding. I remember he assigned 300 and 400 page books for us to read, books like Northwest Passage or Crime and Punishment to sophomores. But I think he knew we could handle those, and I think he was really sharing with us his love of reading. His greatest influence on me was in the way that he graded essays and the way that he dealt with us in class when we made mistakes. Rather than harsh comments, he would gently say, maybe you should think about writing this sentence in a different way. Or did you ever notice that you use this kind of phrase again and again and again? And as an, as an English teacher myself for more than a few years, I learned from him. But I think I really got to know Brother Dave Rogers and his kindness and gentleness when I returned to LaSalle as a teacher. Instead of 400 page books, there were the 400 mistakes I made as a rookie teacher. And he was my teaching mentor during those years. During those years, he showed that he was funny, he was genuine, he was kind, he was firm, and leading us to faith and leading us to be better writers, better thinkers, and better young men. Let us remember Brother James Steck, also known as Fellow Jacques, as Hermano Diego, Jim to his friends, and Walter to his family. Brother James had a most generous spirit. He was a sharer of his language skills. He taught French and Spanish. He knew some Russian too. He was generous with his time. He moderated forum driving kids to tournaments on the weekends and directing them during the week. He moderated the crew, driving them to the river for practices and spending the weekends for races and practices. He was probably most remembered for his generosity of time in sharing his love of travel and organizing trips to Europe, to France, to Spain, to Italy, to England. When his former students think of Flau, they think of his kindness, his generosity, and his patience, not just with them, but later in life with himself, as Parkinson's made his life difficult. I remember Brother James as a friend and a colleague, and I miss him. We're thankful for your attention and for the example of these brothers. St. John Baptist de La Salle, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever.